Welcome to Route 211, everybody. Welcome back also to some more Pokemon Platinum, The Struggle 6 with me, Daniel, from Dan Has Fun. This episode, we have to make ourselves traverse Mount Coronet and uh, go north. Now, this part of Mount Coronet <laughs> is uh, not the first time we're going to be in here. This one is slightly less long-winded. We're still going to probably skip ahead a little bit just to speed the process up. So I'm going to go through this section of Mount Coronet. I'm going to speed the video up just so you can kind of see where we go. Be super quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> And we're out of Mount Coronet. Yeah, I didn't think you'd really need to watch me just go back and forth at regular speed and grab items. There are a couple of useful items in there. That's why I grabbed them. Not sure how useful the soft sand will be, but I thought I'd grab it anyway. But the light clay could be useful if we start having issues with the Elite Four. Just makes reflect and light screen last longer in battle. So it's potentially useful. Welcome back to the outside where this music is pretty funky. This is also quite a long route, but this is the first time in the game where you see a proper amount of snow. You see a very tiny amount at the first late front and see it at the very start of the game. But it doesn't really have any practical effect. So this is the first time that you really see it with any pertinent. We have deep snow. You can see that my walking speed is severely reduced and we can't use our bike. Because we would probably, you know, do a triple sow cow face plant. So our professor says, no dice. We also have trainers dressed up in more apparatus. Uh, to be ready to accept any call, or answer any call, I guess. Uh, to be ready to accept any challenge. This is the way of a trainer. Apparently being able to read is not the way of a trainer. I'm, I'm trying it. <laughs> yes, ace trainer Maria with a Golduck. I didn't remember what she had. That was... No, it would have been a pure fluke if I'd had grapes up front. So, hail effect... It's in effect the entire time that you're going through this route. And this is a, one of the longest routes ever um, in Pokemon history. It is a very, very long route. We're going to tr probably try and put this to sleep, I would say. And we've missed. Good start. Thank goodness we have the fast animations on, because otherwise would you want to see Hail hit both of them independently each time? I wouldn't recommend it. The other thing I don't recommend is that if you're a trainer training in the ice all the time, don't bring Pokemon that take damage from hail. That doesn't seem to be very smart. You're going to see a lot of that, though. So hopefully you enjoy watching uh, hail chip Pokemon away throughout this entire time. Now, right, well, at this point, past Daniel complained that Further in the past, Daniel didn't buy enough healing items. We'll be happy to know that I didn't bother to do that anyway, even after me complaining. We have the option for learning Heal Bell. It's really not that useful in single player. Really, really good move competitively. But in game, not that useful. Having said that, how many times have I used Double Edge? We haven't, so I might as well just give it Heal Bell. And there we go. It just heals you at your entire team of any status conditions. So again, very useful competitively, pretty minimal use in game. Rapidash, definitely not a Pokemon um, that likes to deal with hail. And we've been burned. That was very rude. We might have a chance to use Heal Bell. Go figure. Poor cheese. Poor toasty cheese. Well, I guess we won't have to heal its burn if it faints. <laughs> oh, we just about took it out, though. Please don't take me out. Hail? No, it only does 1 16th. But unfortunately, burn did. Oh, well, you don't have burn anymore. Right? 
to be one of those episodes, isn't it? Hi, Sudder, what oh, Finally, a Pokemon I can do something about. And Sturdy shouldn't protect you from a one-hit KO in Generation 4, and it didn't. Uh, minor spoiler about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, just as a heads up. But I really did enjoy that they made Sudo Wado the grass type trainer's terrestrializing Pokemon. So it could turn into a real tree. I really enjoyed that. That's very wholesome. Feels like when you, you know, give a present to a disabled child. Just you get that extra look of glee. I guess we'll go back and take out this trainer that we skipped to, yes. Be prepared for the world's slowest snow moving effect, because you're going to see a lot of it. I'm an elite battler, but cold is my nemesis, which is why he's out in the cold. Really though, this is just the Canada route. Although, and now that I say this, uh, and for context for people watching this way in the future, I'm talking about January 2023 right now. So far, touch wood, it hasn't been that bad. Whether it will stay okay, we will see. The weather does tend to get particularly spicy in February and March. Lots of snow, so we will see. Oh, hi, Porygon 2. You have a pretty good special defense stat. I might get wiped out before I can take you out with Pedal Dance. Not if I get a crit, though. Wow, this move crits. It doesn't have a particularly high crit rate, but it seems to be working for me. That's a lot of experience. Go, Grapes, go. There's a shame there's nothing really else that we can teach you that will make you particularly better, but oh well. You're probably going to get wiped out by U-turn anyway, because, uh, yeah, I can't switch you out if you're midway through Petal Dance. Oh well. We're trying. That's all we can say. I don't think... Oh, wow. <laughs> Half of our usable team is out. I don't think either of the remaining Pokemon are going to be able to outspeed Ampom, so we'll, we'll just use Maple for sake of getting Intimidate out. And we missed. Opponent uses one sand attack on you. You never hit again. You use five sand attacks on the computer, and it seems to hit one every two. That's the way it goes. That's just how Pokemon works, guys. Yikes, that hurt. That would have been a one-shot if we hadn't had Intimidate. How terrifying is that? I don't know if that tells us we're underleveled or if our Pokemon just suck. But how? Am I weak at battling too? You nearly killed me in one shot after Intimidate. How weak do you think you are? Our team is in terrible shape already. And that trainer we can't dodge. So I guess we're using more Hyper Potion, folks. There you go. How many revives did past Daniel grant us? Uh, nine. It could be a lot worse. Uh, yes, that's that's definitely what I meant to do. Use revive on the alive Pokemon. Yeah, nostalgia. I suspect blinds us from the fact that these menus are horrendous. <laughs> Having said that, the menus in uh, Scarlet and Violet are significantly worse, especially when you're trying to select a Pokemon. Like, if you want to look at their summary page, you can load up the page, and then about five seconds later, the Pokemon shows up before you can move screen. It did it, it baffling, bafflingly slow. This is not a great matchup. Having said that, this is another Pokemon that likes weather and uh, not hail. So maybe we'll just put it asleep and try and heal off it. The weird Pokemon Tropius, it has really good health, pretty good defensive stats, and very mediocre offensive stats, but has a really poor typing. Grass Flying, so it's the same as Jumpluff. Grass Flying gives you that four times weakness to ice that a lot of the really good pseudo-legendary dragons have. So it's not, not, not a good combination to have. Would have been more fun as like a Grass... Even Grass Rock would be better, but like Grass Fire. Uh, we do have a Grass Fire type now in Scovillain, which is a very strange Pokemon too, but... Good that Willie's getting different types. Come on, Ski, run into me. 
Are you a novice or around mid-level? Relative to what? Because when, if we're going by level, we could be level 100, so we'd be less than midway. I don't know. This typing... Oh dear, this is a terrible matchup. But yes, for the first time since we've come on this route, we have a trainer who has a Pokemon that makes sense to have on this route. Diesel, Ice Dark type. Evolves into a very, very good Pokemon. Did suffer from being probably the worst Gen 2 Pokemon in the entire game, though. And that might sound... like hyperbole as I nearly fall off my chair. <laughs> but Ice and Dark in Gen 2 and 3, for that matter, are both special types. Sneasel's special attack is horrendous. So his best attacking moves would have been Slash or Shadow Ball, which just isn't going to do it. Especially when you're frail. Sorry, Edward, I never expected you to be an expert. One, two, four, eight. You know how to play your Pokemon with an edge. Okay, buddy. Snowbound Lodge, a warm bed, and little else. I appreciate their honesty. <laughs> Yahoo, this lodge has seen better days, but relax, make yourself at home. He says that. But it looks the same as any other house. I, I don't get it. it. If they wanted it to look ramshackle, they clearly had the capacity because they did that for the old chateau in the Turner Forest. But this looks fine. Yeah, I don't know. That's, that's a very strange sentence for them to provide given it looks normal. Don't think about it. <laughs> Just don't think about it. I always play for keeps. This isn't practice. Nobody plays for practice in this world. Like, if you lose, you white out and go to a Pokemon Center if you're you, and everybody else just turns into a zombie until you use a versus seeker. I don't think the weather combined with the terrain changes what uh, nature power does, so we're just going to use Petal Dance again, uh, although we might use Leech Seed first. That was, pro that was wise, given what it just did. The Leech Seed will help protect me against the hail, so at least there's that. How many Pokemon do they have? Three. I'm going to sit on this Mr. Mime for a moment. I don't think it's going to be able to do a, <laughs> a huge amount of damage to me as it knocks a third of my health off. Maybe it can do a little bit more than I thought it could. Let's hope that we can take this out through... Okay, that's fine. Hopefully we can take it out through its light screen. Not next turn, but the turn after, given it just wasted a turn. Because we are just gently healing. I didn't use Reflect. That is the best thing it could have done for me. Because we're not using any physical attackers when we're using Grapes. It is pure special all the way. Let's hope we don't have like a... A steel type with high special defense or something that comes out next. I don't remember what they trainers have. Um, well, that's terrible. <laughs> Four times resistant to grass. And is going to be faster than me. Well, guess where we're going after this battle? Yes, back to that lodge. <sighs> <sighs> we tried. I could have brought Blissey out, technically, if I was going to go straight back to the lodge anyway, but it's fine. Another Pokemon that just outspeeds my entire team. We're going to run into that a lot later in the game, so we might as well get used to it now. We're also going to have to get used to the fact that, although Maple's stats are reasonable, having Spark as your strongest stab move is going to suck late game. It's bad now. I can only imagine what it's going to be like later. We couldn't even get close to a one-hit KO on that Scyther. I mean, yes, Reflect is up. So we would have only just one-shot it if Reflect wasn't up. But when we get to the Elite Four, we have a lot better Pokemon than that. That's not a great omen. As you can see here, Bite was super effective and did, what, just under half? 
Yeah, we're going to be on the struggle bus. Uh, we're also on the struggle bus here too, because Scramble won't be able to do anything to Dusclops. Admittedly, Dusclops probably won't be able to do a huge amount back. Cheese can at least hit it because it's psychic and not dark type, but we're probably going to get knocked down to our last Pokemon that's usable again. Unless it's going to use Confuse Ray, I guess. That That's convenient and not polite of it. Can we take it out? No, we're going to hit ourselves. Please just take it out. I don't want to... Okay, that works. I don't want to lose the experience for the hail knocking out the Dusclops, so then we don't get anything for it if it takes our Pokemon out. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. We made that look incredibly easy. Ah, that team sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Garrett. Good job. That was an excellent battle, if you say so. But I thought that was painful. And we are immediately going back to heal in the not-so-rubbish crap shack. Yeah, I never understood that. Don't get it. Do not understand. I also don't understand why there's two people in that cabin just forever. Oh, well. We're now technically on a different route. We're in Route 217. And Maylene shows up. Oh, Daniel. Um, are you maybe on your way to Snowpoint City? That's where I'm going too. If I use Fly, I can get there instantly, but I'm walking for my training. I have no problem with this. I'm used to the cold because I go barefoot and lightly dressed. That's you. Oh, that was nothing, really. I'm not cold at all. I'll be going now. Please take care. I get that that is for comic effect. But just the, as a person that lives in a very cold country, just the thought of going out barefoot in a blizzard hurts me in my soul. <laughs> so, oh, no, thank you. No, 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 no. This cold is nothing compared to the fire that burns in my heart. Uh, you should probably get some Tums or some Pepto Bismol on that sunshine. That's not meant to be happening, Dalton. With your Electabuzz. Another Pokemon definitely that loves the hail. Do you think we can at least use one growth on this without dying? Oh boy. Thunderbolt, not very effective. Knocks a third of my health off. I don't think we're going to have the opportunity. I do want to see what nature power does though, so I guess we'll use, an, we'll use it as an excuse. Oh, we get blizzard. Well, that's convenient because it can't miss in the hail. That's good to know on this route, that's what we can spam. When we're not paralyzed, probably. Yes, yeah, so if we see white terrain on the ground, that's what we know we can use. This is not what I want to see. That was very rude. The AI doesn't switch out very often, but when it does, it has a plan. And uh, my plan now is to run away. It also got rid of the leech seed, which is... Isn't that a shame? I don't have any Pokemon that's any good at taking on Magma. I guess we're just going to throw a scramble out there and see what she does. Pretty sure this has flame body, so if I bite it, or use a contact move... Are you kidding me? <laughs> I got burned immediately. <laughs> yeah, if we use a contact move, I'm pretty sure Lux Ray will get burned. I can't believe we got burned immediately, so I guess this changes my plan a little bit. We're going to confuse it, and then we're going to run away. I guess we'll have to run into cheese. Are we seriously going to have to go back to the lodge again? How are we this bad? <laughs> like, I know this is a team of real struggle, but jeez Louise. We are mega stinky. I don't even think I'm going to take another, take another one of those hits. I'm going to have to try. Wow, that was really useful confusion that we had. Oh, lordy. <laughs> We're going to have to use Maple because we have to keep our paralyzed grapes for the Electabuzz. How are we struggling this badly with a random train? Oh, Jeebus. Jeebus. 
Please take the wheel. <laughs> this is just a random guy with two not fully evolved Pokemon, and he is absolutely shredding our team. Like, absolutely ruining it. At least we got a level up. At least that's, I mean, that's something, right? Are we going to be even... Yeah, we're probably not going to even be able to take a Thunderbolt at this point. I mean, we might as well try. Oh, it's going to give me a Swift instead. Thunderbolt would have done more damage. Swift is only base 60 power. Thunderbolt in this game is, what, 95 times it by one and a half. It's going to be... 142.5 divided by 2. Yeah, it's doing over 70 base. But we definitely would not have taken one. We at least take a couple of these. Let's not let's not be paralyzed both times, please. Please. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> I went quiet for a minute there. I was tense. Well, at least we'll get good experience off that, but that is all kinds of embarrassing. Your heart burns as hot as mine. I haven't had any curry lately, so it probably doesn't. Uh, the weather clears up sometimes. The view's breathtaking then. We'll see if we get that breathtaking view next time. I'm going to go back and heal again. You probably don't want to watch that. So I'll just see you next time, and we'll hopefully, by the end of next week, be able to, you know, get through this route. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for watching the video, and if you'd like to see more, feel free to stick around.